spawning in the bottom left for pass gaming and playing as the Zerg race we have Justin Bieber and in the bottom right as the Red Terran winning two games convincingly we have the Red Terran from the Dark Society Chris C same exact opener all three games now from Chris let's see if he goes for the same exact thing again uh, Justin Bieber definitely needing to win a game here gonna go for the drone scout I don't I don't blame him it's a pretty good decision barracks comes down followed by a refinery and it looks like we're gonna see a hatchery first here from the, the JB drone coming down here gonna check out this barracks gonna rally right next to it So looks like he's moving over. He's gonna take the natural expansion here of Chris. And maybe bake some spines. We'll see. We do have a spawning pool. We have the hatchery down here, and then we have the spawning pool. Sometimes people will opt for three hatch before a pool when they do this build. But it looks like we're not gonna see that here from JB. Alright, so a bunker's gonna go down on the low ground here for Chris C. He looked like he wanted to just build it earlier to get his marine into it, and then realize that there's a hatchery there. So, SCV in an unattackable location there. And now this drone's running around in terror. Gonna turn himself into an extractor and bide some time until he can turn into a spawning pool or a uh, spine crawler, most likely. So this overlord gonna die. Always a devastating thing when your first overlord dies. Rest in peace, Frank. You know what I'm talking about. So marine moving down here to the low ground. Gonna hop into this bunker. The extractor does finish. Uh, I don't think that's what he intended. Well, we've got more than enough Marines and SCVs ready to deal with us. The only thing of importance left that could happen is if he makes a queen and puts down a tumor. Otherwise, this is dead, and it did serve the purpose of delaying the natural expansion. But we can look at the supply difference. And Justin Bieber has nine supply less, so... I wouldn't say it was cost effective. It's so weird saying Justin Bieber is playing Zerg. <laughs> it's like people name themselves like all kinds of random things like there's like five Livabees now on ladder. And then there's like twenty Idras. People just name themselves celebrity names. So oh, Brewlings trying to do some damage. Not gonna happen. And the extractor is falling. But we're gonna have widow mine drops, that's the thing. So no spore crawlers are down. Should be should be a bad time here for JV. Alright, medevac's popping out now. Oh, there's lings in the base. There's six of them. They're all gonna die. And the medevacs get picked up. Or, er, medevacs. The widowmines get picked up in the medevac, rather. Spore crawler going down. And an overseer. No units in production. And looks like we're at a 2 to 1 ratio in terms of supply for. Um, Terran in favor. What am I getting dropped? All um, burrowing. Not a lot of kills for him. Still really annoying. And JB's pretty far behind on all of his supply, so. 
definitely need to build some units. Okay, so we have the natural expansion here of Chris landing. And he's moving away with all these men of X. Gonna probably burrow one here. Yep. Gonna burrow one here at the third base. Just to be extra annoying. But the third base timing here for JB is actually two minutes behind. Two and a half minutes. So uh, I don't think a third base is in its future. Pun intended. So looks like we're gonna have a double drop here. Medivac plus Marines. I think that's just gonna end the game, you guys. Um, six lings, it's not really going to be enough. Uh, the only thing really holding here for JB is the Queens. This one's about to die, low HP. The Marines, center stepping, Widowmine's burrowing. Four Marines. I think he might be able to end it with four Marines, guys. And two Widowmines. Widowmine goes off. Oop, not a good shot. Not a good shot on the second one. But he still has four, four Marines. Nope, looks like he's not going to be able to do it. All he needs is one more medevac. Oh, he's got a liberator. I don't think that can pick up units if you look at the positioning. So he's going to move out here with these medevacs. We're still at a 2 to 1 ratio roughly in terms of supply. So not looking good here for JP, that's for sure. And all these units getting unloaded, reconvening with their brothers. Get some repairs done. I feel like that's something Terran players don't do enough, is repair their units. It's such a nice thing to be able to do. But, um, get an Overseer. Morphing. Oh, that's not an Overseer. It's the special Overlord, the Drop Overlord. With blue. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so we got three medevacs, we have a liberator moving in here into the main base. Zergling's poking around here, going up to this spot. They're barely gonna get wiped out. Nope, okay, they don't. So we got Widowmines, Liberator Fields, Medevacs, we got Marines, and Unkillable Army here from JB. And looking to clear up this evolution chamber. Widowmine goes off, kills four drones. Fourteen drones have been killed. And the Burleys are gonna pop. And Zergus coming in, huge Widowmine detonations. Liberation field, taking everything out. Marines got all lifted up into the medevacs, and they're being redropped. And 104 supply of two versus 30. Final attack comes in here. Queens getting slaughtered. And GG is called. And that's going to be game number three, you guys. Game number three, Dark Society leading 0-3.